Hi, my name is Myra Ramirez, and I'll be talking about social anxiety. How is your family history related to your psychological problem? Um, well, my parents were very protective of my siblings and I as we were growing up. Uh, my parents expected us to behave a certain way, um, even though we were too young to understand um, what they were expecting of us. Uh, in school, they always expected us to have high grades and always have an outstanding performance in everything that we did. Um, they were very, um, just very, they always criticized and expected us to do everything that was outstanding. They wanted us to be outstanding individuals, but I think that is where my, where I developed my social anxiety. When did you first notice that you were different from other people? Um, I realized that I was different because of my symptoms that I started showing at a young age, um, as an adolescent, um, some, some symptoms like uh, palpitations, pounding heart, sweating, chills, feeling of choking, nausea, uh, feelings of like derealization, like um, unreal, um, and the fear of like dying. I first noticed that I was different from others when I started high school and was assigned uh, group projects. I would feel very anxious to have to go up there and present. I would go from like a state calm to a very abrupt stage very quickly. Um, this fear embarked in middle school when I became self-conscious and concerned of the view of others and how they viewed me. Uh, some teasing and that type of thing contributed to my social anxiety. Um, the extreme teasing was negative reflection of the way I view myself. Um, and I'm just very, very harsh and extreme on the way I view myself and how I criticize myself. How does your disorder impact your thoughts, actions, and feelings? My disorder has impacted my thoughts, actions, and feelings in such a way that it's almost impossible to live a normal life. Um, my thoughts are usually negative, and all I do is focus on the negative aspects of my life. Uh, the interactions, I, um, I evaluate my own behavior very harshly. Um, I fear that if I show anxiety symptoms, that those symptoms will uh, be negatively viewed. So I avoid social interactions, such as group gatherings or even working on a group project with colleagues. Um, if in a social gathering, I will avoid eye contact and usually rehearse what I'm going to say or speak before any interaction. Um, every time that I have a conversation with someone, I feel that my conversation may not be articulate and those negative thoughts of my impression lead to my social anxiety. I rarely uh, praise myself for any success that I have accomplished because even though it is a successful accomplishment, it's a failure to me and my expectations of what success is and how others view me. How do you think and feel about your diagnosis? Um, I feel that my diagnosis has had a very uh, negative impact of my daily life in almost every aspect. My social anxiety makes me so anxious in social situations that I am so afraid of being rejected, judged, or even humiliated that I avoid social encounters. If I can avoid going to a restaurant or a store um, just to go get dinner or something like that, I will avoid it. Uh, my social anxiety has developed to a stage of avoiding uh, just any social gathering, um, encounter, because I feel that I'm just going to be judged to an extreme way that my social anxiety will just, you know, go from state to, from a calm state to like an abrupt state very easily. Um, from my personal life, to work life and uh, social life, I have struggled to obtain promotions um, for the same reason. I don't want to work with people. I rather just stay to myself. Um, my personal life, I can't hold a romantic relationship because I feel that my significant other is always um, viewing what I do negatively from the way I talk to how I eat, to how I dress, even my gestures. This may not be the case, but that's how I feel because of my social anxiety. Um, from a friend uh, point of view, I feel that my friendships don't last anywhere. They don't last, um, and if they do last, it's anywhere between six months to a year. Because same reason, I avoid anything from weddings, birthday parties, anything that has to do with being a friend, I will avoid. Do you take psychiatric medication or receive psychological counseling? How does this treatment help you? Uh, so my diagnosis has been treated by um, SSRIs and SNRIs, and I have they have been effective in reducing the symptoms of my social anxiety. Cognitive uh, behavioral therapy has also been um, 
particularly useful in treating my disorder. My therapist has also um, taught me relaxation techniques to control my anxiety. These relaxation techniques have helped me interact with others more effectively with something as simple as starting a conversation. I believe that if I continue to take the medication and, and um, continue my uh, cognitive uh, behavioral therapy, I may be able to control my uh, social anxiety and possibly live a more normal life than what I'm living today. I believe that being able to control my social anxiety with the relaxation techniques, I will be able to be more successful at work, develop my relationships, and have a better understanding of what causes my social anxiety. Um, cognitive behavioral therapy has also taught me to be less judgmental of myself and my 